And well, I was wondering, why do you thank Auntie Morris, the Queen of Rock, in your thanking notes in the? Oh, Auntie Mars. Auntie yeah. Mars. All yeah. right. Well, um, Auntie Mars is um, uh, she. She's my dad's <laughs> my dad's sister, and she's very very rock and roll. Like we, um, uh, me and John went on a holiday when we were 18 with um, Merrick who did the artwork for the album, an old friend, um, to Ireland and she'd just like be dragging us around these clubs in Ireland until five in the morning and saying, it's getting us into places to play at five in the morning, you know, mm. and getting us free drink and stuff. And so, yeah, she's always, she's always loved what we do and supported it and been a real kind of rock babe. The queen of rock. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and um, well, there was another one. Um, I was wondering, who's the lady you met on the train from Manchester who wrote you the harmonies in the luggage carriage? Oh, that was, that, was, that was after that terrible gig, was it? Oh, no. Is that there? We met two people that have written stuff for us on trains. <laughs> oh, this no. one was from the Manchester train, uh, because you really thank that person, so I was wondering mm. what is the story behind it? Um, well, we met this lady who um, worked with choirs and she recorded her own stuff as well. And we were on the train and we were trying to, we needed some harmonies for um, long, 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 long distance love, that song on the album. And, um, and she just sat there and scored them all out mm. with accents on the, on the syllables. The only free space was in the luggage carriage. And so she wrote out all these harmonies, but um, unfortunately we didn't get to use them in the end mm. on the album. But uh, yeah, no, that was... What we've just found is because of the way that we do this, because it's a little bit... Well, it's very rootsy the way we do it. We end, you know, we've, we've done a lot of um, sleeping on friends' floors in London and playing all the open mic nights in the early years. And um, I travelling on trains together with double basses and things. We, we played on trains with a flamenco guitarist or played on a bus through London. But we've had these quite down-to-earth experiences of playing music for people in real situations and it's been really inspiring. If, if we'd spent the last four years in limousines or, some, or, you know, or private jets, I don't think we would have had the life experiences that have fed into the music.